Hey guys, I'm Makima back here for the video. Guys, welcome to a new series I'm starting. This is called NFL Update Series, and the title is still in the works, but I am going to do this every single Saturday. So make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and share this on anywhere you watch football. If that's, you know, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, share this video everywhere. But guys, let's get right into it. I'm going to give you guys the update of what happened in the past week and all the new information. I'm going to do this every single week, just like I do with Ultimate Team, but in NFL related. So, starting off right away, Tom Brady's winning the MVP award. If you guys see right here to my right here, you're, or my left actually, you're going to see the picture of what actually happened. So, pretty much, this guy went to the NFL event. He's one of the, I guess, NFL, like, big NFL guys. Well, what happened was, he pretty much had a piece of paper that said Tom Brady's acceptance speech for his MVP award. Now, I've heard a lot of rumors that, you know, they make everyone do that, not just the MVP. Just in case you can't be there, they want everyone to go ahead and record, you know, them winning so that they can go ahead and have the video already. Now, if that's the case, that's, you know, all fine and dandy, but a lot of people are saying, no, that is Tom Brady's acceptance speech because he won the MVP. And if he did, that would really suck to know it before the honors came out. I know ESPN is going to show all the winners before the honors comes out tonight, but that would still be very disappointing. Number two in the news is going to be NFL honors is tonight. Guys, the NFL honors is tonight, kicks off tonight, and it's going to be so, so exciting. Can't wait to see who wins all these, you know, different awards. Uh, I definitely have, you know, some some guys I really want to win, and then some I don't really care about. I definitely want Alvin Kamala to win. I definitely want Todd Gurley to win. Uh, so it's going to be interesting to see what ends up happening. Hopefully Tom Brady doesn't become the MVP because we all know he's going to become the MVP in the Super Bowl tomorrow. So let's not have Tom Brady two-time MVP in the same weekend. Maybe. I don't know. But next one we have here, guys, is going to be Alex Smith went to the Redskins. So this is not, like, 100% confirmed yet. Uh, they already walked out the trade and everything, but I believe it does not go through until February, uh, March 13th. I might be incorrect on that. I might be incorrect. It might go through right now, but I believe it doesn't go through until the new start of the NFL, new NFL season. So I believe it doesn't go through yet, but he is going to be a Redskin. And I believe he also signed a four-year extension for $91 million, which actually goes upon his one year currently he has, so like a five-year extension. Not bad at all, definitely a lot of money. Now, Kirk Cousins, a lot of rumors of him talking to Denver. Denver, apparently John Elway and him had a conversation. A lot of people are saying that, you know, they already walked at the details of, you know, him joining the team. I'm not sure on that yet, and there was no, like, confirmation, but... I don't know. I think him going to Denver would be kind of interesting, kind of cool at the same time. Seeing him, you know, with obviously now Demarius Thomas might be leaving, but seeing him with John Elway, you know, obviously John Elway being a legend quarterback, one of the best quarterbacks to ever play, and then having, you know, being able to mold him a little bit and see what he can do. Kirk Cousins, I've said this before, he is a great quarterback. He is not bad. A lot of people have a lot of scrutiny for Kirk Cousins, but he's not a bad quarterback. He's definitely a very, very good one. So it could be interesting to see what he can do in Denver. Paxton Lynch, Trevor Simeon, I think you're done. Anyway, last but not least, let's talk about, to end this video, guys, how can the Eagles win the Super Bowl? How can the Patriots win the Super Bowl? So I made a joke to start this video saying, you know, like, oh, he's going to win MVP, Tom Brady, tomorrow. But that's not confirmed. That's You know, there's no, there's no, there's nothing saying that it's going to happen. And to be honest, the Philadelphia Eagles are... A team that a lot of people, you know, underestimated this whole entire year. A lot of people thought they couldn't do it. And to be honest, with Carson Wentz, I thought they were going to win the Super Bowl. I predicted that they were going to go all the way and win the Super Bowl. But when Carson Wentz said, went down, I'm not going to lie, Nick Foles did not jump up on me as, Ooh, he's going to win the Super Bowl. But, you know, I cannot deny what he has done. Uh, since Carson Wentz has gone down. Week 17, he lost to the Cowboys. Then he went ahead and beat the Atlanta Falcons. And then he crushed my Minnesota Vikings. So that was, you know, kind of interesting. That was definitely nice. Now, does he have enough to beat Tom Brady? Well, let's look, let's look at what Tom Brady did. He started off the year with the worst defense you could ever imagine in history. Overcame it. Had to have games where he had to score so much points to cover for what his defense couldn't do. T 
took the uh, Patriots to a 13-3 record after <clears throat> he he didn't beat he did not beat the uh, Steelers. Jesse James caught that touchdown, but he you know he got past Jesse James in the touchdown. He took 13-3. Then he went in the playoffs, had a bye week because they got the first round bye. Then they played Tennessee and they crushed Tennessee, which isn't much of a competition. Then they went ahead and they played Jacksonville. They lost to Jacksonville. Oh, wait, no, no, wait, 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 wait. There was that P.I. call and then Danny Amadola. They beat Jacksonville. And, yeah, now they're here. So, Brady has done it against the best defense in the league, in my opinion, in Jacksonville. Jacksonville, in my opinion, I think the Philadelphia Eagles is the top five best defense in the league. But I think Jacksonville is that much better. So, he beat Jacksonville, barely. It, the guy who fumbled the ball, they did not call that down by contact when he had a touchdown. They would have, you know, lost. But, you know, they beat Jacksonville somehow. And now they're going to play Philadelphia. Now, what's the keys to victory for each team? New England. Philadelphia, they really don't do good against green passes. Throw to the running back out of the backfield. You know, nice little dimp down. Dunk down. Dunk, 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 dunk. Screens out of the backfield to the halfback. Second thing, attack the corners. Their corners are really good in Darby, Jalen Mills. But you know what they don't have? Experience. Target those corners. Uh, other than that, the linebackers, I believe, are not the best coverage linebackers in the NFL. Gronkowski needs to feast. Uh, other than that, Philadelphia. Run, run, run. You know, the Patriots defense is not the best. It has gotten a lot better since the early part of the year. But it is still not the best. It's still not, you know, number one. Make sure you take advantage of the fact that they're not number one. Go ahead and just pound the rock. Jay Ajayi, LeGarrette Blunt. All those guys, Coy Clement, 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 pound the rock with him. Just run him up the middle, slam, dunk, 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 smash mouth football. You got to do that against New England Patriots. Honestly, what Bill's going to do, Bill takes out the best player you have every single game. He's going to mathematically make it so you have to beat him with Nick Foles. I'm not even going to lie here, guys. Bill Belichick's going to tell his defense, we'll make Nick Foles beat us. And if you want to beat us, you're going to have to beat us with Nick Foles. And to be honest, he did it against Minnesota, one of the best defenses in the league. Nick Foles, you're going to be the guy who wins the Super Bowl if you win. If the Eagles win, it's going to be on Jay Ajayi, Garrett Blunt, and Nick Foles. So, who's going to win this game? We have to wait and see, guys. I think the New England Patriots couldn't win because you have to remember, and I said this before, but yes, the Philadelphia Eagles can try to sack Tom Brady. Yes, you can lock up Tom Brady perfectly. And I'm not, I hate, hate, hate to ever say the refs is the reason why a team loses or wins. But you're not, you cannot lie that if, a, if Tom throws an 80-yard pass and it's pass interference, it's a free touchdown. If there's a holding call on third and 16, that's kill that pretty much kills a drive. If there's a uh, you know roughing the passer call on third and 15, that pretty much gives up at least a field goal for the other team. Stuff like that is going to happen in this game, I believe. I believe this will be a penalized game. This will be one of those games where Philadelphia, you have to go ahead and understand that you're not just playing Brady. You're not just playing the Patriots. You're playing the Zebras too, and you have to keep that in mind and try your best to get past that. This is going to be a Super Bowl. I feel like a lot of rage will happen for myself and a lot of fans in general. And the idea is everyone right now is either an Eagles fan or a Patriots fan or they're a third fan, which just doesn't want... They both want they want both teams to tie. So we don't have to see the Eagles with a Super Bowl or the Patriots with another one. So, guys, tell me down below, who do you have winning this game? The Patriots or the Philadelphia Eagles? I'd love to hear your feedback down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.